Hello again, and um, I want to say hi to everybody. Uh, we're back in the car cave, and uh, I'm Chico, and I do cars and military uh, modeling uh, for, for you um, who have uh, just uh, catched me for the first time. Um, I've had a lot of people write to me about different stuff, all good. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have gone almost around the world. I, I, I didn't even know it would go that far, but um, I'm very happy about that, very pleased. You know, when you collect as long as I have, uh, the thing is you really do want to um, show off your cars. Uh, it doesn't matter whether every car is $500 or $50. The point is... It's, it's the work in collecting, and we all, that's, that's what we all enjoy. Regardless of how old we are, we, we enjoy it. Um, I've had a last, uh, I've, the last uh, month and a half or so has been really good. As a matter of fact, I bought, I think, more cars uh, in this uh, short time span than I have in a while, and I'm going to show you uh, the cars that I got. Uh, just a brief summary of maybe what I did get, but it's all been really in a short uh, period of time. Uh, I got myself crammed in here. Uh, I got a, a working uh, little light here I can swivel around and uh, try and make sure that uh, we get some good shots here. And I'm next to my cabinet. I have a couple of cards I want to pull out. I just want to show real quick, there was um, a couple of guys asked about that. Uh, I'm just trying to respond to some of the stuff that uh, I've been asked to show or reshow. I'm going to turn this turntable on, and um, the first car that I want to show you, um, you, want, you you guys know, I mean, I was there for all the 60s and the 70s for all the uh, muscle club car era, and uh, my dad's best friend, uh, well, I called him Uncle Tony because I knew him all my life, um, he had one of the uh, quickest cars, and it was just a stone sleeper. And uh, he outran so many cars, it was ridiculous. And I've been trying to get this car forever. And when I finally saw it on eBay, I tried to get it from Auto World. And I couldn't seem to, I had to go through eBay to get it. And the car that I'm talking about is a 1970 Monte Carlo. Not just any Monte Carlo, but a 1970 454. Monte Carlo. Um, when I rode in this car, it was fully loaded. Power windows, power seats, air conditioning, um, and, and it gave a spectacular ride. But if you really uh, wanted to get around, uh, this thing had some power. I mean, it was a real sleeper. Um, and so this is a car I got from Auto World. Um, I like it. There's a couple of things about it, but um, I'm, I'm going to show you some of it right now. First thing is, it comes with, um, turn this light just a little bit. We, we got the Chevy wheels, the slotted steel rims with the uh, cap over the lugs. And, uh, of course, these were on a lot of the Chevelles, the 396s. And this is the first car I have with actually these wheels on it. I've always loved them. Uh, it's, it's just... Uh, the presence and the way they look. They, they just really look great. Um, I'm going to open up the doors. It, the car is, is carpeted. And um, there's plenty of detail under the hood. I'll tell you some of the drawbacks uh, I had as it comes around. Um, they did a nice job under the hood. And I don't think you're really going to be able to see a whole lot. But uh, the air conditioning and all the little details, the wiring, uh, they actually, it's got real hood hinges, nice job. And then you get to the front and the uh, marker lights, uh, turn signal, uh, they're painted. They're, they're, they're not an amber lens. Um, this is the back of the car with a tag. Uh, if I can get it up there, it says SS454. Yeah, um, the trunk, let me get my tool here real quick. Uh, 
uh, there's no spare in the trunk. Uh, this was a pretty expensive model. Um, so, you know, a lot of the trim is painted, um, which for the price that I paid, I paid less in that car as I've had the actual chrome trim around. Um, I'm going to try and adjust this just a little bit. And um, uh, the seats uh, in the car, they do tilt. Uh, it has a headliner, has uh, the speakers and the defroster uh, in the back. It's a very nice car. Uh, it's one that I've been looking to get in the collection uh, for a very long time. And I'm happy to have it. Uh, you know, you got to take the good with the bad. Um, I'll show you the undercarriage. So, the undercarriage is, is pretty standard. Uh, the rear, uh, the rear, the the muffler clamps are kind of a little bit outstanding. Did a job on that, although the tips are painted, they're not they're not hollowed out. Um, but the car, the car presents, rep, uh, you know, it's pleasing to look at. It's nice to look at. Um, just those are the things that I wish uh, for the type of money I spent for it that would have been on there. Now the next car that I want to get, and right away everybody's going to notice it. Remember, I'm a 1969 baby, and out of all the cars I got with the, the 60s and all, I don't have a real judge. What I do have is a 72, which I've showed you, or if I haven't, uh, we'll go over it. Um, but I was looking at uh, some collections now, I searched everybody for a judge. I was on uh, die-cast uh, uh, model wholesalers, and the best that I could come up with was this one here. And to tell you the truth, um, I was really disappointed. Uh, totally. Um, first of all, it had a serious overspray problem on this seat right here, where it may look like it's silver. This is black interior. And you can see uh, that the seat here has a little silver trim on it. Uh, the front suspension is, to say the least, it's, it, this doesn't even really. But um, with the doors closed, I guess I could be a little bit happy. Let me open up the hood. I got you the wrong way here. Give me a second. It's really tight to get to. So they have it wired up in there. Again, uh, I've got to, if I turn the light all the way over, I don't think it's going to help me any. But I just want you to know that um, it represents, yeah, it's got the, the double in, uh, forced air induction here. Um, the interior is decent, but, you know, the car wasn't expensive. Uh, this, this was under a hundred bucks. Um, so it's more about looks than it is um, I'm super detailed. Uh, um, I, this is not something you want to just, you know, if you buy it, you don't worry about sending it back. You just, you just put it in your collection and you keep it, you keep it moving. I've got a 1969 Judge in my collection and now I don't have to, every, everybody comes in and says, you don't have a Judge. So I, I got a Judge. Uh, some of the other cars that I got within the last uh, month and a half, everybody has seen my Z28 convertible. And of course I got, I got the Back to the Future car in 118 now. And you all know the story about me and Miller High Life. And I believe I showed everybody the Miller High Life pickup truck that I picked up. And uh, this really, uh, I, I love this thing. I guess that's why I'm showing it again. Uh, it's so cool uh, that I got a Miller truck. That's all I drink. I don't drink anything else but Miller. And um, so this was, this was pretty cool. 
Uh, just give me a second. I'm going to set this back up here. So those, those are the cards that I accumulated uh, for the last uh, month and a half. Now, I'm sitting here next to my case. I'm going to try and turn this, and I'm, I'm not going to try and make long videos. I've, I've got a lot of stuff to show. The, here's the thing about car collecting, and I noticed it with um, most of us when we do it, even when I first did the first car cave, uh, uh, showing the car, none of us take the time to really go into the cars. And since um, a few of you look like you enjoy my collection, at least let me show you what makes uh, the car tick, what, why, why I like the car so much. I do try and um, look, at, look at all the accessories. I try and find out what, what the write-up is on the car. Of course, how much is the car? Is it available from this one, that one, uh, before I buy? I just, you know, I, I try and do my homework. Uh, and some cars are what they are, and, that, and that's that. Now, there was a question, and I can't remember his uh, tag name, uh, mentioned about the Mark VI. And I never saw the Mark V movie. I've got one, two, three, I've got four, five DVDs in the case. Never even, I've, I, I don't, rem I may have watched one or two of these. Uh, I really was never a speed racer and, and um, but they made the movie, and let's see if I can get this. So this is the Mark VI. Let me see if I can turn this this way a little bit. This is the Mark VI from the movie. I don't even know if much opens up on this. Okay, so this opens. Uh, I think that's about all that opens. Yeah, so it just has this little piece. And... Um, so it's kind of painted up Mark V red inside there. And we've got a stair. They got a lot of little buttons in there. Interesting on the on the wheels. And um I got this from KB Toys as they were going out of business. I believe I only paid ten dollars for it. Uh it's made by Hot Wheels. That's why uh and um I've never seen any in any other stores. Um, it was the first time I saw it, so I picked it up. But this is the Mark VI, and I just want to clean that up with the... I guess when I showed this in one of my videos, I said, well, there's the Mark VI, uh, and he wrote me back and said, Chico, uh, Speed drove the Mark V, which I, I know. So I was talking about this. <laughs> now, the other thing... That's in here, and I don't I don't see these in a lot of collections. Um, this is, and it was on the box, but I don't believe it says it on the car. Uh, it's that this is the 35th anniversary uh, car that was put out for Speed Racer, so 35 years or. Um, and I got this, I got this a long time ago. Um, gee, I, I got this in the early, very early 2000s. Uh, it's, it's basically, it's your, your speed racer. Um, let me show you what we got here. So um, that light might have been too bright. So we've got, we've got uh, Racer X and Speed Racer up here on the hood. You know the uh, bird, the radio, the, the bird is there. We'll be very careful. So we have Racer X and Speed here. And on this side, who's on this side? Is that tri uh, so, it, so it's Steve, and I mean uh, Speed and his brother, Racer X. And there's the, uh, the Mark VI that, it, that his brother drove I have in there. Um... So it has all the Mark, all the Mark Five goodies on it. Uh, this when that when I got this, 
Uh, I'm not going to try and lift that up. It's just going to be too much time to take. The interior is black. And um, you have the black interior. Uh, the periscope is right here. And, of course, I did mention uh, Racer X on the back. You'll notice the wheels are painted white. Um, and because I knew it was, it was rare when I saw this, uh, I bought it new in the box, but from my dealer down at the flea market. <laughs> and uh, the guy that I uh, really started buying a lot of my 118s from. So this is very old. I've had this for quite some time. And I, I have another Mark V that I wanted to show. I haven't dusted this, so bear with me. But this is a solid chrome Mark V. I really, uh, this was in a high-end hobby shop. And I, 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 I was like a magnet to it. It just, it just caught my eye and out the door I went with it. I wasn't leaving the store without this. Um, it really does look gorgeous. It's completely chrome. There's those eagles again. Uh, completely chrome. I, I keep the periscope up. I just close the trunk. Um, it, it is your regular Mark V with all the little goodies here. It's, it just looks so cool in chrome that um, I'm going to try and move this just a little so you can see it a little better. Let me tilt this down just a hair. There you go. And I'll sit back a little bit. And as you look at it, yeah, it's it's just cool. Uh, that That's all. Um, and uh, it, it, it goes with all the other speed stuff. I mean, how could I leave it out? Um, I wasn't trying to make a statement. It's just the car looks great. So um, uh, I was going to pull some of the Batman cars out, but I, everybody pretty much knows what the Tumblr is. I just wanted to see the Mark VI. I've got the 60s Batmobile stuff down there and some of it. And I, I don't think I really need to pull out the, the Mark VI or rather, I keep saying the Mark VI. The... Um, Racer X is a car. Most of you guys, everybody knows what that looks like. So with the power of pause, I'm going to put this up and I'll be right back. Okay, I guess with the power of pause, I hope everything, I'm doing it right here. I made some, I made some changes uh, in the room. I moved some of my uh, displays and changed them around because I have other cars coming and um or car coming um so uh and then on top of the cabinet was a different setup uh in relation to the miller truck uh, i had this miller sign i added another and i got this cool uh united states i don't think the light helps this is uh, the united states with license plates and um and then I've got the Miller truck up there. But I have some cars here that I want to quick show you, talk about for a minute. Um, these, are, these are really beautiful cars. And um, I really like to talk about them. Um, this particular car here. Um, this is... Uh, Highway 61, and this is John Wick's car. And uh, if you haven't got this car in your collection uh, yet, um, you're going to want to do so. Uh, this, this car is really uh, a good-looking model. And um, I'm gonna, I just want to go over some of the stuff. Um, so in the trunk here, you have a a spare over here. It's the mini spare. The battery's in the back. Uh, they do a beautiful job with the tail lights and uh, the trim around the lights. I'm going to get it. 
So we have real hood hinges and the engine, I'm going to try and turn this light just a little bit. The engine, if you haven't seen a 429 in a Mustang, believe me, they used every inch of space, every inch of space that they could shove this thing in. I, I mean, um, I used to work on these things. And you would have to take off the shock tower supports and everything. And I didn't work on a lot of 429s. These were the 351 Windsors and Clevelands that they had. Um, this has a photo etched grill, uh, the chin spoiler. Uh, it actually has, of course, the functional ram air uh, hood. Um, it's carpeted. Uh, the seats move. Uh, the detail on the inside is really nice. Uh, Highway 61 does a great job. You've got actual uh, chrome bezel around your uh, light in the rear. This one's painted. You've got your simulated locks here. Uh, it's a metallic gray uh, because uh, it's the movie car. But um, it's, it's, it's a good and a very nice looking car. I forgot. Let me show you underneath. So there's your Highway 61. Uh, I don't know if they put a number on these. Uh, there may be a number in the trunk. Uh, I don't see one right now. Not important, though. But um, underneath, um, well, these are glass packs. So this, this, this would have raised hell. Oh, there is a number on there. Unfortunately, uh, I cannot read it. I'm too blind to see it. 841, there we go. Uh, it does have the emergency uh, brake cable uh, set up here. Uh, done a nice job underneath on the engine painting. Uh, like I said, real hood hinges. It's got all the smog and all that on it. And I'm not selling anything. I'm showing you uh, these cars really have some great detail. Because I worked on cars for so long, um, it just brings back so many memories. Um, I wish I was that age again and could still do it. Um, but so much has changed from when I worked on cars, the technology. Um, when, when I was with cars, and by the end of the 80s, we were just getting into electronic carburetors, at least with GM. Because um, I stayed with GM for years, although uh, I did work for Mopar for a while. Definitely a Mopar man. Um, I've got nothing bad to say about Ford. I just, I just didn't. But I did work on a lot of them. Any, anyway, I digress. So this is a car from the Fast and Furious that uh, is on my shelf. And this is another car that's really beautiful. It's got custom wheels uh, on it. You, you would think uh, we're looking at uh, uh, overhauling with... Uh, the way this car is done up. It's got a real hood hinge. Uh, it's got the hood pins. Um, it's the, the back of the trunk has, I don't know if we can see, we've got the jack, the mini spare with, it has the um, inflator. You had an inflator with it. Um, and it has the big Hemi engine in it. Um, and, and it's the water hoses, no air conditioning, but um, this is detailed. Um, this also is from Highway 61. Uh, there's the badge for it right there. Uh, this one is 826. I really love the way they did the exhaust system on this. Uh, the clamps, the way it comes out and dumps right over the axle, the way the shocks look, uh, the front underneath the under the suspension is very very detailed. It looks really sharp. I uh, might be able to get you to see a little bit of that under the hood. I keep the pins here. Uh, it's easier. You don't lose them when you want to show the car. I'm going to set this this over here because I've I've had one car I wanted to show. Uh, my 52 Jaguar but I have another car here that I would also like to show I'm just going to do a few 
And um, also I'm going to do a walk around the room, but I'm going to do that later. I decided to add some of my 164 cars. A lot of you guys uh, talk about your 164s. I know I never really talk about them because I had to take them down when I started redoing the military room. I had cars in there, and then I brought everything in here and filled it up. And, um, and I had to take the 160, uh, my 60, uh, 164s down. But um, I came up with a plan, and I got some stuff. So I'm going to do a walk around and show you how some of the new way I've arranged the cars and all. It's pretty cool. But uh, I want to show you this car. And nothing special. I mean, we got a T-Bird here. Beautiful T-Bird. Uh, I got this from Fairfield Collectible. I believe I got this about two two Christmases ago. I believe this would have been the second Christmas. This car has some really great detail and there's one little feature in this. Uh, but if, if you, you know, you guys, um, especially you guys that collect Ford. So we have the typical Ford mat. That's plaid mat. That's Ford signature there. That That's theirs. They own that. Uh, Spare and Jack is in there. Uh, this tilts, uh, just as I remember it too, as, as, as tilting. Um, the sun visors move. Um, so this is the undercarriage. I'll tilt this back just a little bit. Give you a little look at that X undercarriage under there. So we have the pumpkin here is painted. Uh, the shocks, the engine's done up with the suspension. Looks great on the car. We have a photo etched uh, grill here. I'm going to see how far I can get this hood open. <sighs> Boy. This is an auto art tool for, you, for those of you that don't know. If you look at this, I have them all over the house. That's their logo, auto art right there. So under the hood we go. Uh, you, you've got uh, your Ford Thunderbird valve covers. It's it's uh, it's plumbed and wired, and, and it looks really good. Has a really great interior. Uh, I'm going to turn this away a little bit, and I'm going to tilt it so you can kind of see the interior. But there's one thing I want to show you guys that if you look right, okay, I got to do it this way change hands here so over here over here right here if you can see if you can see a little something jingling there that is the ignition key in the ignition and the trunk key is hanging down on the little ring I, I swear to God and the, the thing about it is the funny part about it was I hadn't noticed it. It it wasn't, it wasn't. I dropped my. Uh, it wasn't um, mentioned, and uh, I had the car. I dusted whatever. I didn't really pay a lot of mind to it. One day I'm dusting it. I looked at it. It just it blew my mind. So the vents open. These open up. The gas the gas tank opens up. I'm not sure which way. Yeah, there we go. So the gas tank opens up. Um, the lights, the, of course, it's carpeted interior. This came from Fairfield. Uh, they call it the holiday or Merry Christmas. That's what it says right there. Merry Christmas. Uh, T-Bird. I thought that's pretty cool. But the car that I really wanted to show, and I really want to get this right so you can see it. This will be the last car that I'm going to show for today. And this is my Le Mans winning 1952 Jaguar XKC 023. Now this, this car had disappeared and then it was found and restored but I wanted to get a car before I show you that um, 
really had detail to look at, really had something that you could really tangibly say wow to. And I, let's just say foreign cars I'm okay with, but you know, I'm, I'm still American muscle. But I took this car because, and bought this car because of the amount of handmade detail in it. Um, oh, there's my little pointer. <laughs> Sorry guys, I didn't get my pointer. Um, things like, uh, the Europeans like to use these like belt straps on the hood. These actually work. I actually took the time, no, Matt, when I took it out of the box, uh, I had to undo them. Now this comes with a tool because the hood actually locks. You can actually lock the hood with the handles right here. Um, so what I want to do is instead of me, I, I just want to run this, run this down for you. So, um, so this thing is a um, metal precision model. It's hand built. It has 1,000, 1,195 parts. Uh, it has a flip open lockable uh, engine hood, realistic uh, replica of a straight six engine um, with uh, engine complete with uh, encompassing components, pipes. Uh, it says metal exhaust pipes, tubular axle frame, wishbone, hydraulic shock absorbers, uh, long torsion bars, um, it has a rigid rear axle, transverse torsion bar, hydraulic shock absorbers, radiator grill. It's handmade of stainless steel, detailed of the cooling system, detailed fuel system, authentically uh, uh, hinged fuel cap, uh, the windscreens, uh, the, the driver's door is realistic, opening up. Um, it just has, it has so much stuff on there. Now, the roll bar here, that comes off. Now, these are real spoke wheels. These are, these are not molded plastic. These are real spoke wheels. And I'm gonna cut this off. So these has real spoke wheels. And um, be before, I, uh, so it has it for the, if, if you want it, and it's on magnets, it's been tucked away up I've had it tucked away with the roll bar, but it uses magnets and it holds uh, the cover here uh, where the passenger is not there. Uh, so, but uh, I keep it tucked behind the seat for right now, I'll push it down. So the, the gas cap does open up here and uh, the grill is handmade, the exhaust is handmade. Um, I'm going to open up the hood and I'm going to try and bring this light a little bit around. I got to be very careful. I want to show you some of the close up. Maybe I can start this way. Some of the detail. It is incredible. I, I mean, it's utterly incredible, the detail. And although I'm looking at the tablet, um, it's it's just it's just I can't make it look more incredible than it already is. But it's really a a, a piece of art, and uh, they they even have the. Uh, uh, the voltage regulators and relays here. Um, I know the the voltage regulator and relays that are right here have red, yellow, green wires coming in and out of it. Um, these uh, spinners are left and right spinners. They come off. I've been trying to get them off since I got the model and I'm scared I'm going to break something. Now, for the back of the car, this is the tool that came with it. So for the back of the car, you 
bear with me one second. I got this wing here that I busted on an aluminum pan cooking. It sounds funny, but it's the truth. And um, you can get your spare tire out here. And that is an aluminum wheel. Uh, matter of fact, if I pick it up, I might as well take it out again. So, as far as the interior, I'm going to show you the engine again. If you look down on the floor, you can see spark plugs. Give me a second to see where I'm at here. So you can see spark plugs right here. There's an emergency fuel shutoff knob right there, and that does say fuel emergency. You have a split windscreen, so you have a small one here for your passenger, and then this one here uh, with real mirrors here. Um, the exhaust comes out on one side, the, the dual exhaust on one side. Um, the uh, Also, the carpeting actually has piping on it uh, that you can see by the shifter there if you look real hard. So the edge of the carpet has the piping, piping on it. And um, I could have got it with a number, but I didn't want to get it with a number. Um, and, and it came in a variety of colors. Um, red and black, um, I'm pretty partial too. But uh, yeah, you can do the straps, you can lock the hood. You have real glass for the headlights too. That's another feature. And there's one more thing I'd like to show you. Now you guys that get those super high-end models probably see this all the time. But when I got this, this is the box. Comes in a leather box, kid you not. And uh, when you open it up, it's all nicely sealed. It comes with a special rag to help keep it clean. And it's just a whole lot of fun. And I've been trying to, to show this to you guys. I have to tear the room up. But the beauty and the detail, the workmanship, the air box for the air cleaners and the side draft carburetors are just gorgeous. Uh, the undercarriage is still, uh, I'm terrible with the light, but um, yeah, the axle you can see here, and of course um, the headlights are wired and it has a safety wire.